Well, ClearClick has listened, and we now have the ClearClick Video to Digital 3.0, and it has some great new features. Hey there, welcome back to my camera collection. In today's video, we're checking out the new ClearClick Video to Digital 3.0. I just want to take a moment to thank ClearClick for sending this out to me. I appreciate you guys always willing to work with me and let me uh, showcase your products to my community. So thank you guys. So in this video, we'll be going over the specs of this guy, what it does, what it can do, go over the physical features of it, what it all has on it, and go through the menu. And I will show you how to set it up with your camcorder. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So if you don't know what the ClearClick Video to Digital 3.0 is, it's technically a video converter for your camcorder. Uh, VCRs, DVD players, you can hook it to game systems like uh, old Nintendo 64s. You can hook this to um, record players and uh, record audio from it. So anything that pretty much has a AV port or uh, your RCA jack ports that has a video signal out, you can hook to this and record video to it. So for example, if you wanted to play old Nintendo games on like uh, Super Nintendo or something like that, you could hook this up to it and uh, do playthroughs if you wanted to for your gaming channel if you wanted to, if you have like a retro gaming channel. My channel, I make videos about obviously old school camcorders. So this is a great way to digitize your footage through your AV or S video uh, cables if your camera has those. So any kind of camera that takes like a tape, like VHS, Hi8 or a mini DV, uh, this can capture the video from it. So that's pretty much just what this is, is a video converter. A few months ago, I made a review on the ClearClick Video to Digital 2.0 the difference between this one is this one has a five inch screen on it. I think the other one had maybe a three and a half or maybe a two and a half. The best part on this one is it now has a internal battery on it. So you can actually charge this and then uh, you can take it wherever you want to go. You don't have to worry about plugging it into the wall to power it or hooking it up to a uh, portable charger. So if you're into camcorders, this is a great way to go tapeless and make it much more simple. You don't have to have a portable charger attached to this to run it. A lot more of a simple system here, if you will. Also with this one that's different from the 2.0 is you can record audio only if you wanted to. So for anybody out there who wants to um, maybe digitize uh, maybe old records or uh, tapes, you can put it onto a micro SD card or a USB drive, and then you can put it on your computer and do what you want with those files. And the audio files you can have between uh, WAV or MP3 files. Now it also has a custom auto stop function in it. If you want to set that, you can go into the, uh, the menu and set it for uh, 30 minutes and then hit record, and then it will record for only 30 minutes, and then uh, it'll stop recording. And then you're also able to uh, set up a time for it to start recording if you wanted it to, at a certain time of the day if you wanted. You just set the internal clock on it and do it that way. So the things that come with this guy, you get AV cables with it, so you have your, uh, your red, yellow, and white cables, and you get audio cables. So this one is a uh, like a two to one. So this side's like a like a headphone jack and then you have your red and white cables which is your uh, left and right audio for stereo. And you get a USB-C charger and one great thing that also comes with that is a wall plug-in for that. So it's a USB wall plug-in. I love that you guys included this because most of the time when you get some form of a, an electronic it only comes with the charger and not one of uh, not the wall plug-in for it. So I find that really nice that you guys actually include one of these with it. And then of course you get your instruction manual on how to operate it and uh, troubleshoot things. If you ever have a issue with it or uh, if you get if you if you order it and there's it's not working right for you, you're always able to email ClearClick, ask them to help you troubleshoot whatever is going on. Let's go around and check out the physical features on this guy. We'll start on the front. It is a five-inch LCD screen, and the controls are a lot different than uh, what was on the uh, 2.0. On this side, you have a, a left and a right arrow um, to go left and right in the menu. Um, you have a mode button, so mode button will actually uh, switch it between record mode, photo mode, and playback mode. If you're in record mode, you hit record and it'll start recording your footage. Um, if you're in photo mode, it's pretty much like a screenshot mode. 
So if you, uh, let's say you have a camera hooked up to it and you get to a, a funny part or a, a point on your tape that you want to uh, have a still frame of it, you can pause it on that frame and then uh, put it into a, a picture mode and then push the uh, record button to take a picture and it'll pretty much take a screenshot of what is on the screen here. If you have the tape pause on a, at a certain point, you can uh, screenshot that. Or even if it's, uh, even if the tape is rolling, you can take a screenshot. And then the, uh, the playback mode, once you get done, taking your screenshots or uh, recording whatever kind of video you can actually go back into the uh, the playback mode and watch your clips back you can actually hook a HDMI cable to it and hook this to your TV and watch your uh, your clips that way as well and then on the bottom on the right or on the left side you do have a menu button so you go into the menu and you can choose all your uh, your presets and all that uh, we'll go through the menu here in just a bit. On the right side, you have an up and down arrow to scroll up and down through the menu. You have an OK button to select things in the menu. And then obviously your record button to take your photos or uh, record your footage. Along the top, you do have a USB spot here. So you can actually plug in a USB drive and save your files uh, to that if you want to. You do have a HDMI out. Like I said before, if you want to uh, watch your footage on a TV, you can do it that way. You also have AV in or your RCA in. You also have S video. So if your camcorder or a uh, like game system has S video, you can hook that up, record your footage that way. S video will always look better video quality wise over the AV cables. And you also have a micro SD slot here. I personally like the, the full size uh, one better. You have your DC in, so that's how you charge it, and you can also power it that way. It is the USB-C style. And then your power button here on the very far side. So you just hold that down for a few seconds and the screen will pop on. Kind of on the bottom, there's a kind of a little black spot right there. It'll uh, it'll light up the little light to indicate that it's on. And then on the back, it's got some little rubber feet. So if you're uh, recording your footage, it's not gonna slide around or go anywhere. And then along with some vents for some heat distribution, it'll uh, dissipate the, the heat that comes off of it so it doesn't overheat. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the physical features on this guy. Let's go through the menu and check out what it can all do. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on here. And that is the display that comes up. It's literally the exact same as the 2.0. It just has 3.0 on it instead. So when it pops up, it will have uh, these little bars that come up. Um, so that is your audio indicators for when, if you are just doing uh, audio recording. Let's check out the menu. But first, I will show you the modes. So the first mode that comes up is the record mode. It'll have a little red camera up here showing that you are in record mode. Um, if you hit mode, it'll come up and show a little picture icon here, and then you hit it again, and it'll bring you to playback mode. So those are the, the, the three modes that you can go into. Um, every time you turn it on, it will be in the record mode. So let's go into the menu. So it has a few different uh, languages in here for you to choose from. You can go to system, date, and time, so you can set the date and time in it. If you want to uh, schedule uh, recordings on it, it will automatically start recording at a certain time or date. You can do a time watermark, so going along with the uh, the time date and time settings, you can do like a like a timestamp on your, uh, your video files if you want, kind of like the old school camcorders. So you can turn that on or off as a little checkbox there. Signal loss detection. So you can turn that on um, if you have some form of a, a lost signal, like video signal or audio signal. It will uh, show a little warning sign for that. You can do auto stop recording. So you can go into here and you can choose your time frames here. You can do a custom time frame. Um, you can go all the way up to 180 minutes, 150, 120, 90, and 60. Video size, this is actually really cool. So you can do auto detection. So if your video size is like uh, 16 by nine, it will automatically detect that and uh, record in 16 by nine. Or you can have it set just to uh, four by three or uh, 640 by 480. So that's nice. Um, it'll also do, it'll automatically detect like 780 and 1080, uh, 1080p and stuff like that. I don't think it can do uh, 4K or anything like that, 
but you wouldn't be using this for 4K videos anyway. Video source, you can choose AV, which is your uh, uh, AV out, or your S video. So you can choose between recording audio or audio and video. So you can do uh, audio plus video or just audio. And then your audio type, that's the, the file that it would save it as. So you can save it as a MP3 or a WAV. And then your default storage device, so that is your um, where you want to save your file. If you want to use um, a USB, you can do that, or you can select um, the SD, the micro SD. Here is your scheduled recording, so you can have it record daily, once, or weekly. And then you can restore it to the factory settings, factory reset it um, to the point of like where you would uh, actually uh, pull it out of the box. And you can format. So format, um, I've had a lot of people have problems with their uh, ClearClick not um, wanting to record to their SD card. And sometimes uh, you'll have other files and stuff that are on your SD card that uh, the ClearClick doesn't like. So make sure you use an SD card or a uh, USB drive um, that doesn't have anything that you uh, want on it. And you can bring it in here and uh, you hit format. And if you hit format, then you should be able to use it for a storage device. So if you're having problems saying that it, uh, it's not compatible or something like that, uh, just come in and format your SD card or your USB drive. Just make sure you don't have anything uh, special on there that you would be deleting. Then you have a firmware upgrade. You have to go online and see if there's any firmware upgrades. Uh, you'd pretty much download it to your SD card or USB drive and then plug it into here. You would uh, do it that way. And then you have the firmware version that just tells you what what version of the, the, the software it has in it. And then if you're watching um, playback or watching while you're uh, recording your, your files, you can push up and down and it will actually change the audio levels. So it looks like this one actually goes louder than the uh, 2.0 version. If you uh, if you plan to use this for recording your with your camcorders uh, tapeless, just make sure you have the audio levels all the way down because it'll make this real loud screeching noise for some reason. And uh, yeah, it just sounds really bad. So just make sure you have the audio levels all the way down if you're recording tapeless. One last thing I forgot to mention, um, when you go to power it off, if you just push the, uh, the power button, it'll just go into like a sleep mode. In sleep mode, the battery is still on and it's technically still running. So your battery will definitely uh, turn off or it'll, it'll, it'll drain. So then you can push it again, it'll just pop back on. So if you want to turn it completely off, you got to hold the power button down and it'll ask you to confirm power off. And you just hit confirm, hit okay. And it'll make a cute little noise telling you that it's powering off. And now your battery will not drain. So just make sure you actually turn it off when you're done using it. Or else it'll just go into the sleep mode and your battery will be dead next time you turn it on. Let me show you how to set this guy up. I'll show you how to set it up with the S video function. Um, just because I don't have a camcorder right now that uh, takes the AV cables right now. I'm showing you the S video portion of it um, because I think a lot of people are a little bit more um, confused on how to set that up. What you're going to need is you're going to want to use your audio cables that you would be using to set up the, uh, if you're just going to record audio out of the clear click converter and you're going to need an S video cable. Now the reason why you need the audio cables is because S video does not have audio, it's just video. So you'll need these to go with that. This is your S video port here. You want to find that same little port that's on your camcorder and you're going to want to plug this in. It's got one way that it goes in and it's sometimes a little finicky so you just got to play around with it until it goes in. Uh, don't force it because you'll bend the little uh, connectors in there and then you're going to have to buy yourself another S video cable. I'm using the Canon GL1. The plugins are right next to where the battery goes in. And I have a big battery, so this is kind of it's kind of in the way of putting the uh, the cables in. So once you have it plugged in on one side, you'll take the other side and plug it into the clear click converter. Then once you have it plugged into the clear click converter, 
You're going to take your audio cables. You're going to take the headphone jack side and you're going to plug it into your camera. Now, if you don't know where this actually goes, you're going to plug it into the AV port, which is the little yellow port you see there on the back. So go ahead and plug it in there because the AV is audio video. Um, you can also just plug in the audio cables in and it'll still work. So once you have that side plugged in, you will just plug in the uh, red and white cable into the uh, red and white ports. So you plug the white one into the white one and the red one into the red one. Now you're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put my battery back in. And then what you'll do, turn your clear click converter on and then turn your camcorder on as well. And now you can see that you can see what the camcorder sees as well if you're in the uh, record mode on your camcorder. So if you want to record the footage that's on your tape, one, make sure there's a tape in your camera, but you'll put it into playback mode. Once in playback mode, depending on what camera you have, it might have something pop up, um, like a little tape indicator there, or it might just be a blue screen. Um, once you have it in playback mode and you have everything hooked up, you'll rewind the tape to the point that you want to record your footage at, so if you want, you can record it all the way to the beginning and record everything on the tape. We'll just say, let's rewind the tape all the way to the beginning. You'll hit play on your camera, so it's rolling the tape and playing it on the screen of the camera. And then you'll hit record on your clear click converter, and it'll start recording in real time of what's playing on the tape. Now, if you have an hour's worth of footage on your tape, it'll take an hour for it to record the footage onto your converter. So it records in real time. So just depending on how much footage you have, it's gonna take X amount of time to digitize the footage. Once you're done recording, you'll hit uh, the record button again to stop the recording. And then um, depending on if you have uh, a USB drive in or a micro SD card, you can take that out, put it into your computer, and then therefore you can start editing videos if you wanted to, or just capture them and keep them uh, on your computer or your thumb drive or wherever you want forever. That way you'll always have your memories or if you want to make little films with old cameras or make skate videos with old cameras, this is a great way to do it. So if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, I will leave uh, a link in the description on where you can uh, pick one up at. And if you want to check out ClearClick's other products that they have, I'll leave a link to their website as well. Uh, they make a whole bunch of different kinds of products and uh, converters, and they, they make turntables and uh, like classic radios and stuff like that. They, they, they make a lot of cool stuff. I'll leave a link to their website as well. I would like to give a couple of recommendations to ClearClick though, if you're watching this. For your, if you ever make a 4.0 or a, like a 3. 5 or a 3.2. I don't know if it's possible. I would like to see one of these have a, um, a Firewire port on it. I don't know if it's possible to do that, just to have the, uh, the, the function ability to do it. It would make this little converter actually so great because when you use Firewire, um, I, think it, I think it turns the, uh, the, the, the video files into something that's not compatible with like YouTube and stuff, but also Firewire gives you the the best uh, video signal that you can get because Firewire is technically a digital signal. The S video and the AV signals are act are technically analog. Um, just for the camcorder world, I would love to see the 4.0 or the next version of this have a Firewire port if it's actually possible. I'm not sure if it is. Another recommendation I have for it is being able to run it tapeless with camcorders. It would be great to have uh, quarter inch threads here on the bottom so you could screw in a uh, something like this. This is like a, a little cold shoe mount for your camera and you can slide it in and tighten it down. So if you could just screw it into the bottom like this and then you could just slide it on your camera and it would sit just like that. Kind of like a monitor because the way that you have to do it now is you got to use these uh, little phone holders and there's better ones out there than this but they have ones that like pivot and stuff like that. So you have to put the clear click converter in there and then uh, screw one of these into the threads on the bottom and then you can put it on your camera. So I think just eliminating this whole process and just being able to screw this into the clear click converter and then putting it onto your camera would make it so much more minimal. And then along with the, uh, the fire wire you don't have to run a bunch of cables. You just have to run a fire wire cable um, from 
the converter to your camera and that's it. Just to minimize this. And I know ClearClick has this made for a bunch of different uh, functionalities, not just for camcorders, but I think that the uh, most people buy these for uh, digitizing camcorders and old camera footage. I just think that'd be a great way to make this a one-of-a-kind um, device because I don't think there's actually any devices out there that capture with Firewire. You actually have to like hook it to your computer and uh, do it that way with all these different kinds of uh, adapters and stuff. It gets ridiculous. So thank you ClearClick again for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. I love sharing your guys' products with uh, my community. And here in the near future, I will make a separate video showing you how you can set up your camcorder tapeless with this ClearClick Video to Digital 3.0. So stay on the lookout for that if you want to run your camcorder tapeless. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it, hopefully it was informative if it was, make sure you like it, and if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe because I talk about all kinds of old school camcorders on a weekly basis. And on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.